10 things that I do to keep me sane during this COVID-19 pandemic. Ah! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this video is gonna be a little different from the usual videos that I make. In this video, I'll be sharing with you 10 things that I do to keep me sane during this COVID-19 pandemic or in stressful situations in general. So the first thing oh, on my no, list no, no, is no. to meditate. <laughs> meditating we reduce negative emotions it also increases our creativity and imagination as well as our patience and tolerance hello on a research hall <laughs> So for me, I meditate by listening to relaxing music on YouTube, specifically this one, um, before exams and before reporting yung mga stressful situations. So nakikinig lang talaga ako dito. And um, upon my sister's recommendation, I am also reading a book. <laughs> To be honest guys, I am not a bookworm but she recommended this, The Daily Stoic. It has 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance, and the art of living. I believe that this is the book for me because you can read it one page per day. You naman kailangan na continuous because it's like everyday meditation sa isang year. Ganon. I really like it. And I would recommend you guys to meditate right after waking up or before you eat your breakfast. Trust me! It's life changing. So, the second thing on my list is to exercise. Well, to be honest, I haven't done any exercises lately. But we all know that exercising is good for us. Who's that Pokemon? Because it releases chemicals or hormones that make us feel relaxed or happy after we exercise. I think this is what we call um, the endorphins, aka happy hormones. The third thing on my list is to eat well-balanced meals. At the beginning of the year, I promised myself, ito na naman tayo sa mga promies, mga pangakong napapako. I promised myself that I would eat healthier, but with our current situation, nakalimutan ko na. So, di ba? Lahat naman talaga tayo. Hello, nakaka-stress naman talaga yung situation natin ngayon. So, most of the time, magsistress eat ka talaga. Pero hanggang kailan, ganun na lang ba palagi? It's just a matter of being able to start again. Parang life. We stumble, then we get up again. Right? So, I've done my research on the benefits of eating healthy and I found out that it boosts your mood, your confidence, and it improves your brain's overall function. Kailangan natin yan, lalo na sa panahon ngayon. Even if most of the time we're at home, we still need to feel good about ourselves. Next, um, if you guys have been watching my vlogs, you'll probably notice that I am addicted to Bear Brand Sterilized Milk. Because it's from the love I make sure that I drink it every day since it has a lot of benefits. If you guys didn't know, ginkgo biloba is a herb used to treat or prevent dementia, cognitive disorders, etc. In other words, it really is good for you. Also, aside from that, I mix golden milk by Danica Nemis which is by the way available at Shopee. It is known for supporting brain function, memory loss, and it also reduces PMS symptoms. I had such bad menstrual cramps before, but golden milk really helped ease the pain. So, I'm a little paid, obviously, but I really want to recommend these to you guys because it really worked for me. And I hope that it will also be effective to you guys if you guys are interested, you know? Fifth on my list is to pamper yourself. There are many ways to pamper oneself. You can apply facial masks. You can also spoil yourself. If you have extra money, buy the things that you've been eyeing on for quite some time now. Or you can simply take a shower while listening to your favorite music. I do that every day and it really is relaxing. Kaya na bahala. Basta pamper yourself. So the sixth thing on my list is to take a walk in between or after your working hours. As for me, I prefer walking at around 5.30 in the afternoon wherein the sun is about to set and the skies are so pretty. It's just so relaxing to walk and just breathe. The seventh thing on my list is to make time for your loved ones. One thing I've realized during this whole quarantine is that life is too short. Let's not forget to make efforts in reconnecting with the people we care about. Sobrang nakakatakot. 
because we don't know what's going on in the future. Nowadays, we tend to forget the essence of catching up while eating dinner or lunch with your family, your friends, because all of them are on the phone. So, I realized that it's shocks. Sometimes, sometimes, you can eat the cell phone, right? That's why I make it to a point that every weekend, I make sure that I catch up with my friends, to a point that every weekend, I make sure that I catch up with my friends, I hang out with them. Kaya sa'yo yung lipstick ba ako sa ngipin? Kaya na pa. Wala. Anyway, that's why on weekends, I make it to a point na I would talk or like catch up or hang out with my friends, my family, and my boyfriend. And isa yun sa mga nakakapagpais ng puta ko. Kailangan natin yun lahat. No man is an island. The eighth thing on my list is to find a hobby that you truly enjoy. Um, aside from watching K-drama, I find video editing as one of my stress relievers. I'm not saying na magaling ako mag-edit ha. Hindi. I just enjoy editing videos. During this quarantine kasi, I got used to being a couch potato. You know, eat, watch, sleep, repeat. Each, each, eat, watch, sleep, repeat. I would just slack off watching my favorite shows on Netflix, favorite vloggers on YouTube. And matapos yung araw ko, may isip ko, shocks, wala akong nagawa the whole day. Oh, no. So, you know, it leads to unproductivity. Hence, I thought of something worth doing, which is editing videos and uploading on YouTube. So the ninth thing on my list is to limit alcohol and caffeine. As for me, I seldom drink the man, but I what I find challenging is avoiding coffee. I really need coffee when I'm studying. It keeps me alive huh? and it increases my productivity in ACADS. But it also increases my anxiety. Oh, no. Magko coffee na lang ako kapag may exam, like pag nag-aral ako for an exam. Pero on a regular basis, nina ako magko coffee kasi ng anxiety ko. So the last thing on my list is to have a good night's sleep. Not only will it be good for your skin, it also has benefits for your mental health. In my case, I had to sleep around 10 p.m. and I would wake up ng mga 6 a.m. Talagang ganon na guys yung body clock ko. Feeling ko, that's a good thing. Ayoko rin kasi na parang late ako magigising kasi minsan na may isip ko ang unproductive ko. Wala na ako nagagawa in the morning. So, yun. Kahit walang classes guys, ganun na talaga yung body clock ko. So, that's it. Those are the tips na I believe will help you with your mental health during these trying times. This time filled with uncertainty and stressful situations. I hope you find this video interesting and informative and sana matulungan din kayo kasi I really wanted to make this kind of video. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Comment in the comment section down below and please do subscribe to my channel and ring the bell button to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Bye!